Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will be talking about entering data manually in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that helps you understand your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about the points to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will mainly talk about two points. How do we create a new table and secondly how do we enter the new data manually. So this is the main outline of this video. Now let us go to the Power BI desktop and see how all these things work. Now we are in Power BI Desktop in a Power Query Editor section. If you want to know about this Power Query Editor interface, you can go to my previous videos and look how this interface works. And if you want to know more about the editing in your data, you can go to my previous videos in which I have taught you how you remove, reorder or enter new cell. All these things I have covered in my previous videos. So but in this video, we will cover and talk about how do we enter the data manually by creating a new table so first of all we have to create a new table that is quite easy you just have to go into the home ribbon in the new query you have to click on enter data when you click on enter data this dialog box opens up which shows create table so you just have to give the name of the table so I will give it region country name then enter you will see a new sheet or query will be entered into a DMI region so this is the region where the query has been entered so now we have to enter the data manually so how could we do that first of all we don't have any data which we want to enter in this thing we have to look for the data which we want to enter so let's find out what data we want to enter. Let's get into the course country region query in which we will see the country code. But the country code is written in a short form like AS of Asia, EU of Europe. But it is you can see has been repeated in this. So first of all, what you will do, you will remove the duplicates. How do you do that? If you want to remove the duplicates, you just have to go into the home ribbon into the remove rows, click into the lower section, you will see remove duplicates. When I click on remove duplicates, after deleting a duplication, you can see only the eight rows has been left in your data which shows Asia, Europe, Antarctica, Africa, Oceania, North Africa, South Africa and others. So you should copy it. Control plus C. I have copied my data by Control plus C but I do not want my data to look like this without duplication because the data which is previous does make some sense. This does not. So I have to remove the duplicate from the applied steps into the course country region section. So I will click on cross. You can see again your uh, the data will look like as it was in original form so now you will get into the region country name where we want to enter our data manually so how do you enter it so first of all you could try by clicking on the table that you have entered by just control plus V so this does not work so how do we do that how do we enter our data into a table so in that case you have to go into the applied step section in a source button you'll see a setting mark in here you just have to click on it then one dialog box opens up that shows when you have created the actual table there you have to click on the column and just click on Control plus v you will see your data has been entered now so you want to enter one more column how to do that just uh, click on the right side key you will see the new column has been entered in your data. Now you have created a column on the right side. Now you want to enter the code for each country specifically which is through entering the data manually. So how would I do that? You just have to write now. Just Asia, Europe, Antar, Africa, Africa, sorry for a typo, Oceania, 
near North America after that South America then others after then entering for the whole rows you just have to click OK now you can see the data you have entered in the source file is present in your table this is how you will enter your data manually so you can see now you have a country id now you have a country code or even now you have a country name so we will change the column name this is a country name c-o-u-n-t-r-y name so in the next video i will tell you how do you combine this country region code to a country region name so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have a amazing and good day